Namaste. This is Mekla here from Pujas. dot in. I have with me Shalini ji. Uh, today she wanted to have a little discussion on Devi related sadhana. Uh, so over to her. Yes, Jai Mata Mekla. Yeah. Uh, with the Navratri approaching now, which is just two three days away, yeah. uh, what is the kind of worship or wa- upasana or aradhana? Uh, what what is it that we should be doing to get the grace of Mother? Well, uh, this question is something that uh, we discuss every year because every year it's so different. But on the only thing that is common is the worship of the Divine Mother, whether it is uh, worshiping Mother as Mahakali or Mahalakshmi or Mahasaraswati or Rajarajeshwari, Madurga, yes. yeah, or it could be Vaishnav Devi Mata, Lalita Devi, Lalita Devi. It could be, you know, like in South there are so many temples like Minakshi yes. Temple. Yeah. Then there is, uh, you know, like Madurai Minakshi, and then we have Kashi Vishalakshi, Kanchi Kamakshi. Kamakshi. There are so many temples. Annapurna, Mata Mata Annapurna. Yeah. So many temples of Mother. Yeah. So how how do we go about the worship of Mother? Yeah. So actually, what my uh, Guru Pooja Nimishananda Guru Ji says about worship is uh, whether it's Nimishamba or Raja Rajeshwari. Like I mentioned, all the names they are all different forms of the Devi itself. So Devi is the creator of this universe, and she has created all of us. So this is the time we uh, invoke her her grace. Her blessings and divine guidance in all our lives. So, what we need to do is, um, you know, dedicate your evenings and your nights to her. How do you do that? So, how we do it is through visiting temples, whether it's in your vicinity or even outside. If you can take pilgrimages, please do it to Devi temples, Shakti Peethas, where you go and you pray. Get simple kumkum archana done through a priest there in the temple. Or you could uh, even uh, invite sumangalis, married women to come home, and you give them shringar items. That's called a sumangali puja. So a devi comes to your house in the form of a sumangali. So you give a sari, blouse, uh, and you know some shringar items like bangles, kajal, bindi. And these are the things you can give. Um, uh, you are the expert in sumangali puja. You do. She does it every year. She organizes for all devotees also. What do you do, Auntie? Exactly. In so uh, we have, you know, like. Just now, uh, what you said, all the shringar items, because we are seeing that lady Sumangali as Divine Mother herself, yeah. who is coming here to bless us all. So we give with that same bhavana when we give uh, any dan or any uh, items for uh, her, uh, you know, like her day-to-day use. We are sort of invoking Mother in that lady. Yeah. So uh, we give, uh, you know, like the dhanyas, that is the food grains. We give food grains. We give uh, uh, haldi, humkum, with bangles, with a blouse piece, with coconut, with lots of fruits, and some dakshina. Also. And dakshina. And if uh, if the if it is in a capacity, we give a sari, or we give any any item of any clothing. So that that is what is the sumangali puja that we do, mm-hmm. and we do a uh, path puja also in the sense we wash the the, the feet. sumangali's feet and uh, adorn it with uh, haldi, kumkum, and chandan, and we do puja to her feet, seeing her as the rupa of divine mother herself yes yeah, so that the, is the samangali puja that we do that's a very powerful puja because we also give flowers just typically like how you would invoke the blessings of devi if she would come to your house typically like that we do the samangali puja and then i also would recommend you to do the karnika puja karnika puja is to worship the kanyas so yeah. uh, typically what happens in a karnika puja i would request you to explain that yeah, so Kanika uh, Puja has been, uh, you know, ordained in our Shastras to say that this is a very, very holy day, uh, especially on the Ashtami, yeah. on the Durga Ashtami day, that where all the, uh, you know, Kanyas are invited. And in India, Kanyas would be below the year, you know, age of 12 years. So they are invited and they are, they come beautifully dressed, uh, just proper for the occasion with, you know, all their lenga cholis and fully, uh, you know, uh, the the shringar with uh, the complete you know with their chotis and all that so they come uh, fully you know ready ready and it, we are seeing mother 
as the Kanya Rupa there. So in that Kanya Rupa we do the same thing that we do for Sumangali Puja that is we do the uh, Pad Puja and then we do Aarti and then we do give the you know like lehenga blows we give as the dan and we give all the fruits because the children love fruits and uh, we give them sweets and uh, give them whatever they are you know like they are wanting so we give those kind of food items and we give them uh, lemon juice to drink mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, some sweets to eat and uh, whatever is possible from our side we give as dan so as uh, lehenga cho- or if you are able to afford it wonderful otherwise whatever is possible in your capacity so that is what we do for uh, kanya puja usually nine kanyas and nine sumangalis are what we do it during navratri that that puja and uh, one more thing the beautiful part of the kanika puja is that uh, we invoke mother as uh, bala tripura sundari so as a mother yeah. as, uh, comes as kanya and we pray to her so mother can come in any form right she can uh, come as a uh, kanya or she can come as a very old uh, lady or she can come as a middle aged woman i mean there is no restriction you have to just welcome her during the navratri in your house how do you do that you can invite the sumangalis in in and around your vicinity or uh, you can go to a temple where there are already devotees there so give it to unknown uh, sumangali so mother will bless you and take their blessings do namaskaram to them this is one of the things i feel uh, you can do during navratri then the second thing i told you visit the temples uh, do get a kumkumarchana done and if you know how to chant the lalita sahasranam or ashtotra or any other devis like lakshmi stotras or uh, parvati ashtotra like that if you know uma maheshwara ashtotra these things you can chant and plenty of videos are available on youtube and youtube is like a encyclopedia of everything so Correct. you can actually even listen to these chants which are available and uh, some more powerful chants if you are advanced in your spiritual uh, uh, you know path you can even go for uh, saundarya lahiri durga saptashati that is the most powerful way of invoking the divine mother because apart from japa and uh, puja and things like that Durga Saptashati is such a sacred text that when you actually read the 700 shlokas which will talk about how Devi as Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati has vanquished many demons. So and uh, the Palashruti, everything is there in that where it, it tells you what is the benefit of reading this, how she will actually save you from miseries, how she protects you, how she nurtures you, nourishes you, brings in harmony, gives you good health, especially if you, uh, you know, in the beginning read the Kavach Uh, it covers everything yeah the devi kavach is very very yes. powerful yes yeah. so like from head to toe uh, nakashika paryanta we say so everything mm-hmm. is covered in that True. so in fact uh, in, during our satsangs uh, puja guruji used to make us read the kavach so that all of us have the mantle of uh, protection Uh, so anything else that you want to share because my thoughts are these mm. like if you are very advanced if you have received a mantra diksha from the guru you can chant do the japa uh, during mm. navratri so in fact uh, we have done couple of navratris uh, you know doing japs isn't yes, it yeah. Yeah. Uh, as uh, uh, puja guruji tells us even one name of mother is enough even if you are not able to chant the whole uh, sahasranama just pick up one name which is very easy for you which is uh, you know you feel will have a you know a liking for that uh, particular name yeah. so that you can do as many times as you want just one name is enough to take you to that kind of a uh, you know uh, that level of uh, peace and happiness within you because that is what is mother's grace the peace and happiness within us i still remember in one of the years uh, puja guruji gave us uh, each one one particular name of uh, lalita sahasranam and i got this uh, muni manasa hamsikaye namaha oh that was my favorite it was like uh, the moment i would chant that mantra that as name of mother uh, i would go into that bliss and that picture of manasarovar would come in front of me <laughs> only because it would it was such a calming soothing kind of a mantra Yeah. Uh, but uh, after that we have got plenty of mantras so of, of uh, devi at, at different stages yeah yeah so so that was a that is a very very uh, powerful way of invoking mothers mother yes yeah so navratri is a time where i feel you should not really look at uh, entertainment or just uh, dance and things like that but i feel you should go deeper into yourself and invoke mother and you can feel her true so
Mekla, there's another thing I think uh, uh, we can uh, always incorporate in our daily Navratri sadhana is uh, decorating mother's photo or decorating mother's idol. Yeah, what do you say? Singar will be very good. Yeah. Like, you know, getting her a new sari and then with bangles you can decorate flowers yeah. flowers yeah. every day if you can do it with fresh flowers have a theme and do it you'll feel very good you know the um, uh, icha shakti will increase in you like you feel like doing things you will get develop interest correct and then you'll develop wisdom also icha gnana kriya shakti are three very important uh, powers all of us should have sometimes we feel low you know deflated no lack of interest so who is going to do kind of a feeling many of my clients do experience so if you do this shringar when you see the flowers and mother's decoration uh, with pearls or things like that then you get that interest in life and even shringar with haldi and kumkum also really helps you balance your energies and um, you get the power of will to uh, do your activities with more zeal and enthusiasm yeah and it is said that uh, like guruji has told us so often that when you offer flowers as alankar to mother uh, it you know the flowers have got that very fresh quality yeah. it has got fragrance it has got beautiful colors and when when you are doing it gives so much of uh, joy and freshness to your heart yeah. and it brings about a change within us because it is like garlanding our own soul yeah. is what uh, guruji she always tells us so when you do alankar or when you do shringar to mother you are doing shringar and alankar to your own soul so it 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 is you know the god which is there within us is in front of us and we are doing alankar to that so it is we are you know like directly communicating with uh, devi and your heart also becomes very soft, soft like the flowers tender yeah you yes. develop compassion towards people so that's very important so only when you're compassionate with another soul and with their feelings you know even you're empathetic um, god also becomes very empathetic towards yeah. you that's the common belief that we all carry isn't and, it and uh, there are so many different kinds of flowers so we can have one theme you know like today i will you know decorate mother with red yeah. red flowers tomorrow it could be yellow flowers day after it could be some other color you know whichever color you know appeals to us and or we get that prompt today i will do shringar with uh, this particular color so yeah. it is a reflection of our own feelings feelings even fragrance wise you can choose yes yeah i mean if you actually apply your heart and your mind there are so many things and i think devi only will show her way correct so uh, only thing is you have to start thinking about her and move in her direction then she will come 10 steps um, faster than even you can okay. think or imagine so as is our bhavana so is mother's drishti on us yeah <laughs> true so, um, and another thing i wanted to ask mekla is uh, uh, like all, all all of us are basically housewives right or even if we are working we have time for ourselves mm. so uh, why don't we make use of our uh, culinary skills or the cooking skills how do how can we you know make that as a worship to mother you know the answer <laughs> so she's uh, she is very fond of uh, preparing nevedyam and uh, offering it uh, to the gods and goddesses particularly krishna she does that uh, every year for janmashtami but uh, i think uh, you gave me a, a hint that yeah <laughs> definitely our viewers can prepare some nevedyam like some sweets or whatever the they can that anything anything, give, anything. Yeah, the bhog prasad for devi can be offered every day yeah see that's exactly why i call her on every show because the thing is she knows all the answers in fact <laughs> she is an inspiration but she asks question in a way that you know it helps the readers so basic benefit is not that who knows better kind of a thing it's more like we want to share uh, no, what we, we are all learned. worshiping mother in different different ways, ways different paths <laughs> yeah. but the destination is the same same so she gives the prompt uh, you know why don't you tell your viewers to <laughs> offer nevedya why don't you tell them to do sumangali puja <laughs> why don't you tell them to do kanika puja so you know that's what happens when somebody with so many years of uh, experience even in spirituality is there when we share it's uh, uh, the joy is immense and uh, you know what we experience we also want you to experience so um, like she said all these things are very good annadan giving for annadan is very good in a temple and uh, if somebody if you get to know somebody is performing a chandika havan chandi apart if you don't know how to chant you go there and 
listen to it but listening itself is a, it, it's it's very very powerful to listen and because that removes so many of our uh, karmic blocks karmic dust yeah yeah so these are the things uh, that i can think of at this point of time so uh, if you are more creative if you have done something more extraordinary and if you are able to uh, reach mother um, touch her touch her what i mean to say is through your feelings and if you feel that path has given you some peace and it can inspire others please do share it uh, with us in the comments below this video so that you know more people can also get the benefit it, knowledge is never limited it's just not about her and me it's also about what you think and uh, what you have done for mother during the navratri and uh, something that we can also implement and learn from you please do feel free feel very free to share about it thank you so much namaste namaste jai mata jai mata di jai mata jai mata di